Researchers from the UK have announced the successful birth of eight babies after a rare IVF procedure designed to prevent inherited mitochondrial diseases and conditions including seizures, blindness and even death. Hi, my name is Soumya Pele and in this episode of Pure Science, I will explain a rare clinical trial of an IVF procedure called the mitochondrial donation. The technique which is also being called as the three-person IVF, has been developed to prevent mitochondrial diseases. The mother of all of these eight babies were at high risk of passing on life-threatening diseases to their babies due to mutations in their mitochondria. Now, I'm sure even those who do not have a science background would remember this one science lesson from school, that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. But taking that lesson a little bit further, the human body is made up of cells, each of which has a nucleus containing unique genetic information. The fluid around the nucleus contains hundreds to thousands of mitochondria which carry their own set of 37 genes. Now, any mutation in these genes can impair or completely disable mitochondria with catastrophic effects. And since babies inherit all of the mitochondria from their mothers, any mutation in these can impact the children. Studies and observations have shown that the first symptoms of mitochondrial diseases start appearing in early childhood. In most of these cases, organs like the brain, heart or the muscles which require more energy to function start to fail. Many patients with a mitochondrial disease show developmental delays and also require wheelchairs. In the worst cases, these patients also die very young. Now, a mitochondrial donation treatment or an MDT works to prevent babies from inheriting mutated mitochondria. For this procedure, the mother's egg is fertilized with the father's sperm. The genetic material is then transferred from the nucleus into a fertilized healthy donor egg that has had its own nucleus removed. Now, if you picture it, this creates a fertilized egg with a full set of chromosomes from the parents but healthy mitochondria from the donor. The egg is then implanted into the womb to establish a pregnancy. Because many women who carry a genetic disorder produce eggs with varying levels of faulty mitochondria, if the mother's mitochondria do not have high levels of mutation, then they can also experiment with a technique called pre-implantation genetic testing or PGT. Using this technique, eggs can be selected for IVF that have a very low chance of passing on a disease. Like I said, in cases where the women have heavy mutation, this procedure will not be possible. Now, coming to the findings of the UK's latest clinical trials. The findings of these trials have been published as two separate research papers in the New England Journal of Medicine. The studies show that all of these children were healthy at birth. One child developed a treatable urinary tract infection. Another one developed muscle jerks which got treated on its own and a third child born of this procedure had developed high blood fat and a disturbance in their heart rhythm but it was also treated without much trouble. None of them reported any critical medical condition. Genetic tests of these kids also showed that they have no to low levels of mutant mitochondria I say low because in some of these cases, some low levels were found to have been carried over from the mother during the procedure. The test showed that the levels were too low for the children to develop any kind of serious diseases, but it also hints at the possibility of improving the procedure in the future. Like I said in the introduction, this procedure is also being dubbed as the three-person or the three-parent IVF, but researchers said that calling it that would be technically incorrect. The children remain the couples, which just takes the help of an egg donor. This is because the genome, which determines the physical attributes of a child, still comes from the parents, while the donor egg carries the mitochondrial DNA. While the procedure is being considered a success, for it to be an accepted procedure, countries will have to work out a way to place it in their ethical and legal framework. 
This was all from me. I am Soumya Pillai and you were watching Pure Science.